Hi. Uh, year nine. So I hear you're, uh, you're entering the world of lino printing. And I have to say that uh, when I looked at lino printing in year eight and year nine, it changed my world. And I consider myself a printmaker. My name's Nikki Pallant. And uh, I'm currently on location in Morocco, fulfilling a lifelong dream of an art residency. So I applied in September, or actually April last year, and in September I discovered that I had won a residency. So you pay a small fee uh, to a company or an a organisation or an artist and they provide you with the opportunity to explore your art. And this one's in Morocco, in Tetuan, which is kind of opposite Spain. And you might want to look it up. Because the first thing I had to do when I found out was to look it up. So I'm going to talk to you about my artwork, a very local bouquet, which maybe you've had a look at already. Um, I'm very happy with this print. And I was overjoyed to sell my print to... Uh, someone who wasn't in my family recently, so I know that other people have enjoyed it as well. This is the exhibition that um, I was interested in participating in. It was 35 artists working on the theme of bouquet. So I started by considering what might be a very Australian or very local bouquet and uh, I started collecting as many beautiful native flowers as I could. This is a bunch I bought uh, from a florist. Um, some proteas. I did some research before on what were local, local um, bouquets, what were local flowers. And I spent some time on Photoshop. So I took some photos in good light. I played around with the filters. Um, I improved the edge. Here's uh, one of the prints. So I looked for a... Um, yeah, I started to explore a woman called Margaret Preston, who maybe your art teacher has discussed with you. She is a local printmaker. Um, let me show you some of her work. So I had a good look at how Margaret Preston works. In, in looking at her style. She often has a border. Her edge is quite rough. There's not a refined carving technique. Her flowers are often coloured, which I like, I like colour. Here's another one, Christmas bush. She also signs her name uh, in reverse which I did as well. Here's another one. So local protea that she's carved. Uh, note some of the techniques. Look, she's, um, she's got some dark parts. You know, she hasn't completely carved it all out. Yeah, this is a rougher style. You can see she's worked uh, a little faster maybe. This is a very famous print called Wheel Flowers, which I was shown as a year nine. I like how she's printed it on a, a different color. This is a different style. She's looked at a sunset. And another exploration. This is a famous Margaret Preston one I love, which involves a, a flower. So I started with some drawing. It's kind of vital for all of the, for everything you do in art. Um, some quick sketches. I try not to get too involved in how my sketches look. Try not to get involved in how your drawing looks. I figure drawing is like tennis, you know, you need to practice your stroke practice your stroke and eventually you get better at depicting what you want to depict. I started some watercolour studies, so I pulled out my cheap watercolours. I was actually travelling at the time, so... Here's some more of my watercolour studies. I'll send this slideshow to your teacher as well. 
Um, I was very interested in depicting the Banksia pod, which, you know, if you do some research on the Banksia pod, it's a very unique, unique thing about Australia. Often I show the artists here or the locals here and they don't know, they've never seen anything like it. Here's some, so I, you know, once I had the composition, I began the carving. It took me about two weeks, working four or five hours a day. I was caring for my mother at the time, so I had some responsibilities. Basically, I transferred the pattern using a texture. First, I drew the pattern, then I put the pattern upside down and, and pushed the graphite onto the lino. Here's a, a small study, some more of the carving. I had to borrow a press because I didn't have my own like I have here. And here's the first print. I was very excited. I have um, a bit of a habit of whooping. Woohoo! When I complete a print. The excitement of what it's going to look like. I love that aspect of printmaking. This is in the studio. I began exploring a technique called chine collé. It's a French word, meaning kind of like a collage. And this came from an idea from uh, the artist collective I'm involved in, Duck and Weave. And someone, I was trying to find out what to do with this large block of an area that was kind of boring and someone suggested shin collé. So this is an experiment with some handmade rice paper. And this is the result. These are some close-ups. I experimented, printed maybe five called artist proofs and tried different techniques for colouring and tinting. This is my studio in my backyard where I work. This is the opening event. So this is me at the opening. This is some more artworks along the theme of bouquet. When I was uh, exploring the theme, I, and I do this with most of my artworks, I get Wikipedia out, have a look at the definition of the words. I, I try to be compelled by the, the topic and I spend a lot of time thinking about what it, what, that, what it means, how do we see what a bouquet is, lots of different um, exercises to explore the theme. I use the Google Images and take screenshots of all the different ways that other people have interpreted the name bouquet. This is me when I sold my artwork, I got to put the red dot on. And there's my my piece that I sold. These are some of the other artists' work along the theme of bouquet. And we filled the art gallery with bouquets. Some of you may know this artist, Cheryl Evans. Some beautiful hydrangeas. An exploration of the theme in 3D. This one's called Seed. And lastly, I thought you might like to see uh, to see the studio a little here and, and where I'm working and what I'm doing. Sorry, this is my makeshift tripod from Electrical Tape.
So this is the press. And this is my studio. There is another artist working in my studio, Rabia Farooq. She's a miniature artist from Pakistan. You might want to look at her work. She's been very successful and only 24. And here is the life outside in Morocco. Just outside the door. It's a beautiful sunny day. This is the company hosting my residency, Green Olive Arts. You can see the beautiful mountains. Thank you for your time. Good luck with your art. I'd love to see the results.